Someone asked me about 25 years ago, how long before the rapture? I told them at that time, I thought maybe about 15 years. If someone asked me this year, how long before the rapture? I would tell them it looks like months, not years. Because events appear to be boxing in, you might say, the window for the rapture is becoming more clear. We are in the last of the last days. No other prophecy needs to be fulfilled before the pre-tribulation rapture. There's some rapture, some prophecies that could be fulfilled before the rapture, such as the rebuilding of the third temple in Jerusalem and the destruction of Damascus. But I was surprised in the comment section, uh, more than one comment regarding that the falling people believe the falling away had not yet occurred. But the falling away has been ongoing since I have been watching this for almost 50, 50 years. Almost every church denomination, they gradually move farther and farther away from the Bible. Not only do they not teach the full Bible, they teach things contrary to the Bible. And there's no argument about that. You can look it up. Um, the churches are leaving the people. They cave into social pressures. The leaders cave into to pressures, political pressures, social pressures. This does not mean all Christians are going to ditch their Christianity. In fact, as I often say, people do not regret becoming a Christian. Let's check out 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there be a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. So after the falling away, at some point, the Antichrist will be revealed. But we believe before that, the rap before the revealing, the rapture will occur. We don't bring these prophecies up that much because they've been fulfilled for a while. Years ago, I thought people would figure out the Bible was real because of fulfilled prophecies, and they would start paying attention to it. Well, some have, but you'd think things like Ezekiel 38, when Russia goes to attack Israel, and gets obliterated, you'd think someone in Russia would raise an eyebrow over this. Now let me sidetrack for a moment. The name Russia is not in the Bible. It is Magog from the uttermost north. And if you look at a world map, Moscow is straight north of Israel, the uttermost north. There's no other countries north of there. Well, that's just like so many Bible scholars like to come in the comment section and say that the rapture is not in the Bible. The word rapture isn't in there. It's not in the Bible, therefore it's not real. The word in the original Greek is harpazo. It means catching away. But I've heard all this anti-rapture rhetoric already. The scripture supports a pre-tribulation rapture. Now back to my point. Non-Christians are absolutely blind to scripture. It is breathtaking how willfully ignorant they choose to be. Let's look at another scripture. 2 Timothy chapter 4 verses 3 and 4. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, 
but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned to fables. Today, people believe the craziest things imaginable, but they just want to get along with their friends and follow some people who are just angry and hate people and are too smart for God. But the word is forever. It does not bow down to politics or social pressures. God says, I change not. So those attending these mainline churches, apostate churches, think they're doing God's will. Sometimes they don't know any better. Sometimes the church left them and they just keep going anyway. Well, all, all the putting in time in an unbiblical church does is make them think Christianity is boring and irrelevant, which is one of the biggest lies ever devised, which the world will soon find out. A couple of things. Religion does not save. Being religious in your practices does not save anyone. Church membership does not save. Infant baptism does not save. It is a big lie that people accept without question. Their family always has done it, so they think they should do what the rest of the family does, and that makes it right, and their family will be pleased with them. Remember, Jesus said, I come with the sword. It's scary to think about how, about this and how many people think they are Christians, but their soul is in grave danger because they've never given their lives to Jesus. Jesus saves. The shed blood of Jesus Christ on the cross is what saves. He did it for all of us. We all need it. None of us are righteous. We are all stained and unfit for heaven, which is a perfect place without Jesus. Pray to accept him right now. If you're having problems understanding this, check out my other videos and pray that it will become more clear, and I trust that it will.